the corner of filament, the corner of fun, the filament corner. Alright, we are. There we go. This is the Troncy. Well, modded Troncy. Never found a cable long enough to move that. This is the current print. This is a cutlass in one piece. That's right. An entire prop sword in one piece. We are using ABS. And it is going quite well considering this is ABS. So. Printing it solid as well. And ironically, I have to have the cooling fan on. So, hopefully it comes out decent. Well, it's done and well, it was a failure. As you can see, it just got too high. So, of a disappointment. So here it is off of the printer and into a more lighted, air, lighted area. Um, camera is not far enough back for you to see the uh, chop top <laughs> of it, but um, I figured I'd talk a bit more about it in more detail. I was worried that it would fail, and it did fail, just like I had worried. So, let me zoom in on the handle. Um, now this is in ABS. I don't normally print much in ABS. I do what needs to be in ABS. Most of the time I just use PLA, and I like PETG too. But I normally don't use ABS, especially on something like this. So maybe if I'd used PLA, it would have worked a bit better, but I doubt it. So the handle actually turned out decent, considering it's ABS and I'm using a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. Um, it had a little bit of stringing. Ironically, I had to run the part fan full blast with this ABS, and it wasn't even enough. Um, I wasn't running it too hot to burn it, but it wasn't cooling quick enough when doing the handle where we have the guard, the finger guard. Whenever I tried this the first time, I didn't have the part fan on, and it wasn't cooling it cool enough and it turned out a lot, a lot better this time around but as we go up the sword you can you can sort of you can see where it starts to fail um, the reason why it failed is the same reason why things like 2020 aluminum extrusions if you try to print those really long, standing standing up, they will they will do this too. When it comes to the point where the nozzle's so thick and the structure is so long that whenever it lays that next layer down, it moves what's well, already been printed, and it turned out fine. Where I'm looking at it, you can it looks pretty good, but as we go up, you can really start to see where it starts to move move the sword as it's moving the nozzle to place plastic down. 
in a certain area because I made the blade wide enough where it lays down two layers of plastic on each side and then it moves up so whenever it was moving up and swapping to the other side it was pulling the printed blade over and you can you can really see where it starts to just completely fail so um, I could probably do a knife pretty easily because I mean this is close this sword is 29 and a half inches long that's how long it was supposed to be I could probably get away with a knife and for this, for this sword, I mean, I want to try it again, but I may need to add in helper holders for the blade, something that it prints and they attach to the blade and then I have to snip them off afterwards, just so that way it has some sort of, some sort of work holding on to the blade as it goes up. So not everything's a success. Um, I do have failures, and here's one of them. I mean, it's hilarious. It looks like it looks like somebody went and bought a uh, bought a sword that'd been thrown into a a dryer or something. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I want to get into uh, prop making and stuff like that, making different props like guns and stuff. And I thought, well, I have the build height. Why don't I make a sword? Well, I looked on Thingiverse. I didn't see no, I didn't see no swords that were like real life based and not video game based and were one piece to basically to scale of the real thing so I went and made this and in case you're wondering what I'm referencing by scale I just googled the <laughs> average length of a cutlass so yeah if you guys have any uh, thoughts or suggestions please leave them in the comments cause you know like I, like I said this is a learning experience for everybody and I'll probably do a knife I'll probably leave the handle and do a short blade knife. But you know I have I have a printer that has the build area. I figured why not why not try it? Because not everybody has that, so it'll be interesting to watch and mess around with and show you guys. So obviously this one <laughs> this one's been through quite a few uh, <laughs> ordeals. <laughs> I mean, you run up you run up on somebody with this thing, they're going to think your balloon oh, popped. Yeah. They're going to think your balloon sword deflated. <laughs> <laughs> You're slinging a wet noodle at them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, I have uh, I have some other prop stuff that I want to do. I have a uh, I have a sci-fi pistol that I need to print as soon as I get enough PLA on this printer and it'll be a multi-piece project but yeah I mean sometimes they turn out okay and sometimes you're slinging a wet noodle at the end <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I mean that's that's close to three feet right there, even though, you know, it failed at the top. Yeah, I'll just have to try something else. Maybe, like I said, add, trying to add a uh, structure to hold on to the blade. It'll take some time, that's for sure, to try and add that in. But it may work. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it check out some of the other stuff. We made a uh, scratcher. A pineapple scratcher. Yep, the pineapple body scratcher. Um, got the spray can hole, 
handle trigger holder thing mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> so yeah, love love making stuff and as you can see I wanna try to make some swords and props and stuff. <laughs>